Well, good morning. This is Pastor Devin with First Presbyterian Church here in Huntsville, Tennessee, bringing you our morning message. I hope these scriptures will tide us over as we prepare for Palm Sunday. The palms are out front by the main entrance, um, or some people might think it's the side entrance there. Um, but please, please, please pick up palms. There are plenty. I've also already received some great photos of people with their palms displayed in their homes. What a joyous time to be able to share in this great Holy Week that's coming up together. Together, even though everything in our minds, all of our anxiety tells us we should feel apart. The truth is, we have never been so close. We're close in heart and spirit, but we're also close to each other through media in one another's home. So I look forward as we enter Palm Sunday, being in your homes with you again, knowing that we are not alone during this time and looking for new ways to create church in our homes. This is my home setup, we'll call it, the fellowship hall here at the church. Um, since my tiny apartment does not have a living, a huge living space, I thought it would be just as easy to walk up to the church and be here where I have kind of taken over Crafts Central. So as we prepare to worship in our homes this weekend, I wanted to share with you our scripture for this morning, which is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, 32 through 45. I'm sure it is probably familiar, and so let us dive in together. They were on a road going to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed him were afraid. He took the twelve aside and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him, and after three days he shall rise again. John and James, the son of, son of Zebedee, came forward to him and said, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, Do you not know what you are asking? Are you able to drink of that same cup or to be baptized in the baptism that I was baptized with? And they replied, we are. And then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and the baptism with which I am baptized you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it is been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became very angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, you know that among the Gentiles, those they recognize as their rulers lord over them. You know that among the Gentiles, those who recognize their rulers rule over them. And their great ones are tyrants, tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be a servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be a slave to all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom for many. The Word of God for the people of God. Jesus came to be a servant. And in a lot of ways right now, we are being called to be servants as well. Stay home and stay safe. Here in Tennessee, our language changed to now being mandatory to stay home, which means stay home, 
Go out only when necessary. Don't take your family to the store. It's not a family outing. Get in, get out, and stay safe. That is what we are being called to do. Even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, knew that safety was important. God asked that his people stay safe during plague, telling them to mark the doorposts of their homes. This is what we do when needed. Another thing that we do is we serve. We serve one another, whether that's donating to a food pantry, going and helping make lunches at a school for kids to drive by and get food, coordinating with others to make sure your neighbors that you haven't heard from in a while, that someone reaches out to them. I've been crafting. Yesterday, the church was able to donate headbands to mountain peoples so that their nurses will be able to better protect themselves through comfort without having to deal with the aches and pains that protective masks can often cause our ears and the sides of our faces while still guaranteeing that they are as safe as one can be. That is the work of the church. Students and crafters all over this country and world are making protective face masks. I've gotten great messages from seminary communities, from small churches all over the Southeast who have let me know, hey, look what we're doing. Let's continue to do this work. Feel free to shoot us an email here at the church, First Presbyterian Church in Huntsville, Tennessee. Drop a comment with some photos of the crafts you've been doing in our YouTube section. Or shoot us a message on Facebook. Both can be found at First Presbyterian Church, Huntsville, Tennessee. We would love to share in the joy that you are sharing with those around you. Let us see what our busy hands have been doing. Let us see. If you've got a favorite children's book, read it on tape. Send that to your local church. Let them upload that to the website for the kids at home to be able to watch. If you know a librarian, grab her. They're really good at storytelling. You see, we are servants because we are the hands, feet, and body of Christ in this world. We are those things. Jesus is working through us. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. Let us celebrate these gifts. Even though physically we are apart right now, I truly feel that we have never been closer. And I hope that as we go through this Holy of Holy Weeks that is coming up, that we are able to celebrate together. To give you an idea of what Holy Week will look like, Palm Sunday will be at 11 a.m., just as it always has, but this time it will be online celebrating what it is to truly be a church at home, in a house church together. Thursday night, Maundy Thursday, 7 p.m., I would ask that we all try to sit down for a meal together after the service, even though it's at home, knowing that at that moment that the service ends, that we break bread with our family and that we share a meal that we can be connected through that way. Good Friday service will be at 7 p.m. Sure, it will be a little different. That's okay. And Saturday, Saturday there will be something special. There will be a long set of reading videos that you can watch through. I recommend starting that at sundown and watching them and enjoying those readings and meditations as we go through Holy Saturday. And then, as the sun comes up on Easter, we will celebrate that Christ has risen. Christ has risen. Sure, it's going to look a little different, but that's okay. Because, you know, there is nothing that this world can put on us that says that we will not rise, that we will not come out of the tomb with Jesus and celebrate. 
We can celebrate in our homes. We can do a little dance. We can do all of those things. All with a hope and prayer that this time next year we will be right back in our building. But that we will look different. We will sound a little different. And our community will be even stronger and even bigger. Not because we shut the doors of the church. But because even though the door is shut, the church is wide open. Wide open and going full force. Because we are given an opportunity to be the church in the world right now. Let us rejoice in that. Let us rejoice with each other. Let us wave, speak, and keep our distance. Craft, cook meals for friends, do shopping for those who cannot. We are the hands and feet of Christ. You are the hands and feet of Christ. And you are loved so very much, not only by this church community, but by God, our creator, who created all things in God's image. Even with our weirdness, our uniqueness, all of our brokenness, we are beloved children of God. And that is something that unites all of us who breathe on this earth. We are created, created by God, with unique gifts of God for the people of God. May these words tie you over as we get ready to celebrate Palm Sunday. Don't forget to come by and pick up your palms. If you have masks or crafts that you have made, feel free to enter the fellowship hall and place those on the ping pong table. If you're not sure where to donate them, we will get those out for you. May you have a wonderful and blessed rest of your Friday. May Saturday be filled with sunshine, outdoor weather at a socially distanced pace. And may we meet Sunday morning at 9.30 for Zoom Sunday School and 11 a.m. for worship. Hosanna in the highest. Palm Sunday is coming. Jesus is coming. Let us get ready for all this joy. Amen.